Hello, everybody. This is Steve Smith, the editor of PhD News Magazine, and today I am talking with Jeremiah Brody, and we're going to talk about training. Jeremiah, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about what keeps you busy? Hey, Steve. It's great to be here. Thank you for the invite. Uh, you know, I'm Jeremiah Brody. I'm the business unit trainer for Little Giant. A little bit about myself. I live in the upper Midwest, and I'm surrounded by water, as you can imagine. Uh, right now, we have the the spring thaw, so everything <laughs> that was frozen is now running flowing water. And so it seemed pretty fitting to, you know, really join in with the career in water movement, don't you think? I think so. And I'm not as far up north as you are, Jeremiah, but uh, Monday it was 70 degrees. Yesterday it was cold and rainy and damp. So uh, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's 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 definitely fine, though, that's for sure. Yeah, we're enjoying spring. So a tell me a little bit more about uh, 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 what's all involved with, uh, well, first of all, hang on, before we get into training, I know you've got a little interesting background. Uh, you've been in the plumbing or at least PHCP business for a number of years. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about how you came into the trades and how you got to uh, to your current job? Yeah, so I, I started my journey in the plumbing industry. I was a third-party field service representative, and I was selling Franklin Electric pumps, uh, Coleman <laughs> pumps to be specific. <laughs> now they're known as uh, Little Giant Select Series. Currently, I am the business unit trainer, and I'm dedicated to the success of the plumbing and HVAC markets. And I currently serve both the United States and Canada. So it is it is pretty uh, remarkable this year. It's it's a great it's a great anniversary. This is my 10 year anniversary in the industry. It's really been a great experience, and it really it just comes from the people that I've met and just an awesome atmosphere. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I've been reporting on this since 1990, and uh, I'm telling you, the, the people are the, the best part of the this job, I and mean, it's very, very true. So no matter who you're talking to, contractors, distributors, engineers, you know, they're really very friendly people, good people. So Absolutely. I know I know the feeling. i got more yeah. years on you than, than, than you have, but uh, I agree with entirely with your sentiments. Yeah, so I 10 think... years altogether in the industry, but how long have you been at uh, Franklin? And I'm not quite sure I caught that. Yeah, so I've been with Franklin Electric for three years now. It's really been a great experience. I started off as a as a field service representative, uh, factory direct with Franklin Electric. You know, okay. really going out and reaching our customers and a face to face, you know, platform basically. You know, it, it does. It had a lot of training back then as well, and that mm -hmm. really ties into you know, like you said, we're training engineers now, architects, yeah. contractors, and our sales staff. You know, as, as time goes by, we really just want to make sure that, you know, everyone that we reach out to has product knowledge so they can succeed in their business. And it's really with every training that we created, it has a purpose. And we really want to deliver that information. Mm -hmm. And this information is product knowledge. It's sales technique. It's application. It's technical information and features and benefits. And it's just each session is different in content, obviously, but we really just want the same message to be heard. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about the current focus of, of uh, Little Giant uh, as a trainer. You, you mentioned before we uh, hit record here that uh, one of the big things is the train the trainer push. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. Our main initiative is to concentrate on the train the trainer ideal. And this is we want to train people who will train other people. So mm -hmm. this is an idea that we, you know, our reach doesn't just stop at the sales force. It's going to continue mm -hmm. You know, to our distributors, their management, sales force, the contractors, and even the homeowner. This really expands our reach deep into where Little Giant pumps are not only sold, but where they're installed, also where they're used and eventually repurchased. Well, that's not a very interesting concept. I, I like to train the trainer. Um, and again, just so I understand, uh, obviously, you're the guy training the, tra <laughs> training the trainers, yeah? Yeah, correct. Yeah, and, and so right now, it's it's just it's going through and reaching out to all of our customers and mm -hmm. seeing who's going to be out in the field and, you know, essentially going out there and training. So it's just a, okay. it's a, a great thing to be involved in. And these trainers are, uh, as you mentioned, uh, distributors largely, is that mostly your wholesale distributors that you're considering these, uh, these uh, trainers to be uh, people that yeah. would go out then and spread the message? Yeah. So we do have our independent sales reps and it, you know, it, it's going out and, we're training our reps, and then we go out and we also interact with our with our distributors as well. So it, it's really just a lot of different touch points out there. Mm -hmm. 
So now I know there's a lot of different training uh, that you described to me beforehand. So let's break that down. You got webinars, you got online training, you've got a even a mobile training facility of some sort. So let's break those down a little bit. Why don't you tell me a little more about the webinars first? Yeah, absolutely. So with webinars, um, we host monthly webinars, and these mm-hmm. are virtual training uh, segments here. And this is, you know, we're just walking through little giant content with our partners, and we're offering Q&A opportunities. Okay. And these are also recorded and saved on a platform that was is Franklin, Franklin Tech Online. Okay. And this is a virtual learning platform. Uh, where it can be utilized as a training curriculum for those who are new to the industry or if we have seasoned veterans that are just coming back for a refresher. You know, and we also include uh, assessments, and this is just opportunities to really measure retention. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, these are recorded, and it's just really they can be viewed at their convenience. Now, you did mention, yes, we do have mobile training facilities. Yes. What these are are vans or trailers that we have throughout the United States And these are really to deploy product training in a variety of different locations in a face-to-face format. So Mm -hmm. we're working with our customers. We participate in different events such as counter days or open houses Mm -hmm. or even, you know, classroom style expos. These are for learning experiences just really to cater to their needs. You know, we really try to offer something on all levels of expertise in a, a variety of different formats. And I'm kind of curious to know a little more about these training facilities only because in our July issue for PHC News, we're going to do a story on mobile truck uh, facilities, I guess is what we're calling. Mobile training facilities is our catchphrase. Um, So these trucks, uh, you mentioned vans, trailers, are they a little bit of everything? I mean, how many, what's your fleet like? What's what's the, uh, tell us a little more about these vehicles. Well, we do have eight trailers that are around, around around the United States. And when I say vans, one of our partners has a van because they are over on the eastern coast where driving a trailer through a big city would might be a nightmare. So, yes. was, right. you know, really just accommodating to the demographics of the area. And as you mentioned, these are taken out to wholesale distributors during counter days by and large. Are there any other, uh, I guess, public events where I would see these at, trade shows or anything like that? Yeah. If there's if there's room for different trade shows, I know that a couple of our partners have signed up and had their their trailers involved with these. And even if they are not in the show, sometimes they are outside of the show for different Mm -hmm. demos and such. Good. Okay, I'll make a note and want to talk to you privately a little bit more about that, because that would be some uh, a good, uh, good, good, good comments to include in our story in July. Now, before we move on, let me make sure I got everything right. The webinars, the Franklin Tech Online, how do you get out the word that, that there's a webinar next month or something like that? Well, I guess like I'm asking if I'm a contractor and I and I don't know about the webinars, how would I know about the webinars? Absolutely. So we, we communicate this with our partners who will communicate this with all the customers out in the okay. field. So, okay. yep, just it's it's part of the train the trainer, real realistically, yeah. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> delivering good. information. And the Franklin Tech Online, um, these are again, I believe you mentioned that you can pretty much go through these at your own pace. Absolutely, these are uh, essentially what three four minute videos each. Are they modular approach? I mean, I have to take one before I progress to the other. You mentioned about retention. So, do, is there a little test I have to take before I move on to? From module one to module two, for example. Yeah, that's what we're in the we're in the process of developing right now. Is you know for you know just basically going through and measuring retention. Uh-huh. Uh, there is also there's multiple levels to it. We have videos out there that are going to really specify an operation and maintenance, and they're they're the three to five minute video mark. When for the webinars or the virtual trainings, those are anywhere from twenty minutes to a half hour mm-hmm. of these recordings that are just really going product specific, and just really dive in deep into each of these product families. Good, good. And as you mentioned, the webinars are recorded. So if I miss one, if I'm busy for whatever reason on that one day in time, I can always go back at my leisure and and review that again. Is that correct? Good, good. Okay. Well, it sounds like you do more than enough (laughs) training here. Is this kind of common in the industry? Is this one of the reasons maybe that kind of sets you guys apart or what? Well, I feel, you know, elements elements of it are definitely offered in the industry. However, we do like to extend ourselves beyond the typical training platform, and we gladly offer it all to measure the greatest possible retention and just, you know, anything that's available to our customer at their convenience. 
Good, good. So if you had to boil down a little bit more what you do as a trainer, how would you, how would you describe that? Well, I'm going to say this. A major part of my position is to take the technical information that's been created by our engineers and our product managers and really just make it easy to understand. So okay. my goal is to deliver every bit of information about our pumps in an understandable and relatable manner. So as we all know, we have very intelligent individuals creating little giant pumps. And I just take the responsibility of presenting our great features and benefits in a manner that you know people will understand and use again. It's retainable knowledge. It's it's really reusable mm -hmm. knowledge. Good. Now, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that's important in what you described there, but what do you think is the most important part of any particular training session that you put on? Well, you know, with every event, they're, they're all different, you know, whether it's a virtual event, a live event, it's big or small, we really strive to make it memorable. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't have to be a really large, expensive production. It mm -hmm. just has to be memorable. So if our customers and our sales staff understand, you know, exactly our, what our products are, and they're comfortable with our products, well, then we know we've succeeded. Good, good. Well, let's wrap things up a little bit here. I, I want to ask you, I hate to bring up COVID because I think at this point in time, everybody's kind of sick of it, but mm -hmm. what are you seeing? I mean, are you back to doing more face-to-face -face things, I suppose, in the last six months than maybe, you know, in 2021 or something, or 2020 uh, must have been a kind of a complete shutdown in some respects for in-person traditional kind of classes. Mm -hmm. What's what's going on out there? Well, I feel that we really embrace the virtual platform and, uh -huh. you know, we just, we rolled with it. And now as, you know, time has changed, you know, it is, we are seeing the calendar fill up with more um, in-person interaction mm -hmm. and it's just, it depends on region, you know, mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of where throughout the United States and Canada, it's it's opening up, or you know, it, it goes it goes back and forth. But we are seeing more events coming on the calendar, and we're scheduling them. Good. Well, one last question. Anything else uh, that you'd like uh, our listeners to know about? Well, I, I I this is this is my personal opinion here. I feel that I am very fortunate enough to have a career that really highlights the best part of the sales process. And see, the most rewarding part about a career in training is the moment that you see someone relate to what you're saying. And it's it's like the switch turns and that light bulb turns on and you just you just know that they get it. And it's it's a great moment, it's very rewarding and for our listeners out there, reach out, you know, I'd be happy to help train you and your team, so let me know how I can help. Well, on that note, um, Jeremiah, what what is your email address? Would you like people to email you or, or give you a call or text you or what's the best bet to get in touch with you, I guess personally? Absolutely. Uh, you can reach me at jeremiah.brody at f-e-l-e dot -E com. Good, good. Well, perfect, Jeremiah. Well, let's plan on talking a little bit more about your training vehicles. I'd like to hear about that and maybe get some pictures of, of those uh, trailers at least. Yeah. And we'll go from there. That sounds great, Steve. Hey, thanks All for right. having me. Hey, thanks for coming on, and uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs>